Pay All. This is our budget for March 1st through March 15th. And we do the cash envelope system. If you're not familiar with that, is basically you're you're paying cash for your items instead of credit card. Um, um, you can either do it through debit, cause that's the same that's the same thing. Your bank is just holding your cash in there. So we pay a lot of our stuff through online, cause it's just easier for us. But like our our gas and our groceries and like um, fun money and stuff, we pull out in cash because it's easier for us to stay on track. Um, otherwise. In the past, we had spent our allotted amount, and then we had gone over. Whereas when we pull out cash, if I get twenty dollars, after I spend this twenty dollars, whether it's coffee, going out to eat, buying a book, whatever, after I spent this, there's no more. I can't pull out anymore, and that has kept us on track. What I also like to do is when, as soon as my husband's paycheck hits the bank, I like to pay stuff right away, so that way it won't be sitting in the bank. Even though it's not due until like the 11th or the 8th of the month, um, I like to pay it right away so that way it won't be there and it won't be like a temptation. That's something that has worked for us. Um, let me know what works for you. Um, also, I want to cl clarify that we are not the Ramsey Purist. Um, there's some items we do, we decided to keep, like our Harley. We have a motorcycle that we decided to pay off. It is our a debt and it's a large debt that we decided that we wanted to pay off. So I know there's some people who say like, oh, you know, sell the motorcycle. And I agree, you know, but we are we are happy with our plan. And um, if anything changes drastically where we decide there's a need to sell something or get rid of something, that's actually a, the first thing that we decided to sell. But for now, we are happy with our plan. We're happy with our... Um, our timeline for our debt-free journey so let me get started with our budget before I I tend to ramble on so I need to stop that <laughs> um, oh also this is my savvy sense wallet this is what I use for a cash envelopes system um, it has all these slots here for cash and all of our categories this is uh, I use this wallet for many for a little over a year almost two years now so it's been used really well and I like it and I'm planning to when I when it's time to replace it, I want to get another one of the Savvy Sense wallet. So I'll put that link down below if anybody's interested in buying one. Um I'm not sponsored or anything. Just I know people a lot of people comment about that wallet. Um so for March first we have to the fifteenth we have um our mortgage, which is seven ninety three and eighty cents. We did get a letter a letter saying that we had to pay pro property taxes. But um, our taxes are in our mortgage because our actual mortgage is only like $500 and $53. Um, but we took the letter to the bank and they corrected that for us. So we don't have to worry about paying any more extra property taxes on top of that. And good thing we double check with our bank because um, I was kind of thinking of just paying it just because so, I was you know, freaking out. But... Um, good thing my husband stopped at the bank and, um, got that corrected. Um, our home gas is, I estimated $100, which was $78.63, which that's good. A little under what I estimated. Internet is $74.66. Um, we did not have cable, so we don't worry about that. Cell phone, we pay prepaid, um, phones for that. And... It is $97 together for both of ours. A motorcycle is $52.25. Our Harley is $350. Um, our Netflix, $10.99. Hulu is $12.73. We're considering getting rid of the Hulu. And because Dustin wants uh, like a gaming to like this thing where he can pay like $9 and he can play unlimited games. So we're thinking of getting rid of get rid of Hulu and getting that for him because that's all he does is play games. He's a gamer and he's going to school and working and that's the only thing he wants. So I'm okay with that. Um anyways, like I said I ramble on every now and then. Um our credit card is it was about one sixty eight and we're paying a little bit over so two twenty. Um that is our next debt that we're paying off. Right now, we're kind of not, not putting so much towards it because we are trying to build back our our savings. 
um, since we've been living off our savings for a while. Um, monthly household is 40, which let me put this into my purse before I forget, or my wallet. So we have a household budget, and we get this once a month, and it ranges anywhere from like $20 to 100 and depending on what we need, I normally go at the end of the month, I try to go walk around the house and see what we need. Do we need batteries? Do we need um, light bulbs? Do we need laundry detergent? Stuff like that, dog food. A dog food comes out of here. Um, and then I kind of estimate how much that would cost. And then groceries, we're going to do $80 because my son um, is receiving WIC for his pediatrician 1.5 because he is underweight, um, which is um, so we're doing $80. She's getting that now. So we're probably going to do $80 at the beginning of the month and then $100 at the end of the month. We used to do $100 every pay period or first of the month and then the 15th. So groceries is $80. I'll put that here. Um, Dustin for gas. We've been budgeting $100. Um, he used 40 recently um, over that last budget. So we're going to do 80 again because that 40 should last him, last him for the rest of this week. Um, and the reason why he gets a high gas budget is because he's traveling, commuting to school 40 days a week. And then he goes straight to work from there. Um, so I'm going to put set this aside. He gets, um, I'll put that in his wallet later on today. Um, and then what else? Gas for me is only $20. I just need to top off my gas. And this is coming, this is being rolled over from last, um, budget, last pay period. Because I have budgeted $20 for the Mafia mom group that I'm in. Which is mothers, um, advocating for inclusion and acceptance. And we have a meeting once a month. It's either a breakfast or a dinner, and we meet at a restaurant. Um, but we had a guest speaker, and she paid for our breakfast. And so I just rolled it over to my gas. Cause I just needed a, I just needed a little bit. I didn't need a lot. Just to top it off. So this will go into my gas, and that's twenty dollars. And then Justice gets $20 for his budget. Um, and I'm going to also budget for my nephew Peyton. His birthday is coming up, so we're doing $20 for him. And then since his Easter is around the corner, I am buying my three goddaughters their Easter. Um, I try to get them something for Easter, something for their birthday, and then Christmas. So three, three times a year, I send them a package. I'll be sending them an Easter package. I'm going to put this all together with Injustice category. Oh, he has his here. And then the same for my um, great niece, Ethely. She's also my goddaughter, so I sent her her package to because she lives in Texas and um, so I mailed them out so that include the mailing fee too for um, Jensen, Evelyn and Ethelie and my nephew I'll see him so I'll give that to him so that's it for our budget video thank you for watching bye